The James Webb Space Telescope, with all its incredible capability, is finally here to do its thing in the cosmos. The most powerful space telescope, the James Webb, has taken sharp images of our mysterious galaxy and other objects in the cosmos. Stunning images of our galaxy captured by the James Webb Space Telescope are presented in this video. Like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future updates on the James Webb Telescope, NASA News, or anything else related to space. So with that, I'd like to officially welcome you to Space News Unfold. Let us assure you that the information we are about to reveal will blow your mind. Okay, let's begin. Number 1. NGC 346 This image of NGC 346 was captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, NERCAM. NGC 346 is a young star cluster located with a nebula 200,000 light-years distant. Webb reveals a much larger supply of building blocks than was previously thought to exist, including clouds rich in dust and hydrogen, which can be used to construct not only stars, but also planets. Both molecular and atomic hydrogen can be found in the gaseous plumes and arcs seen here. The pink gas represents energetic hydrogen, which can reach temperatures of up to 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit, while the orange gas represents dense molecular hydrogen, which is much colder at temperatures of negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit or below, and the dust that is commonly found with it. As stars originate in the cooler gas, they alter their surrounding environment. The effect of the light from these young stars breaking up the dense clouds may be observed in the form of the numerous ridges visible throughout. The numerous incandescent gas pillars illustrate the widespread impacts of this stellar erosion. Number 2. Spirals and Supernovae Galaxy NGC 1015, located in the constellation Cetus, the whale, and 118 MLY from Earth, is magnificently captured in this image by James Webb. Here, we get a frontal view of NGC 1015, whose symmetrical spiral arms and, and dazzling core bulge conjure up images of a sparkling Catherine Wheel fireworks display. The central region of NGC 1015 is bright and quite massive, and the spiral arms are smooth and tightly wrapped. There is also a central bar of gas and stars. NGC 1015 is a barred spiral galaxy, like our own Milky Way, because of its unique shape. About two-thirds of all spiral galaxies have bars, and in this one, the arms spiral outward from a ring of pale yellow light surrounding the bar. If a black hole lurks at the heart of a barred spiral galaxy, scientists think that gas and energy from the galaxy's outer arms are funneled into the core via these glowing bars. Feeding the black hole and fueling star birth in the center while also building up the central bulge. Number 3. Magnetic Monster NGC 1275 The observatory captured this magnificent photo of NGC 1275. Incredible clarity and resolution are seen in the image's reddish, lace-like filamentary formations, which surround NGC 1275's luminous core region. Despite being surrounded by gas that is almost 55 million degrees Celsius hot, these filaments remain cool. They show how power from the black hole at the center is transferred to the surrounding gas by being held in place by a magnetic field. For the first time, astronomers were able to make an estimate of the strength of the magnetic field by observing the filamentary structure. Using this data, scientists show that the filament's structure had been preserved over their 100 million year lifetime by the extragalactic magnetic fields, protecting them from collapse due to gravity forces or the violence of the surrounding cluster. Number 4. Galaxy with a Glowing Heart The telescope obtained this image of the nearby spiral galaxy NGC 1433. It is a Seyfert galaxy a type of extremely active galaxy that is roughly 32 million miles from Earth and makes up about 10% of all galaxies. They're like our own Milky Way galaxy in their bright, luminous cores are similar in size. Astronomers are quite curious about the centers of galaxies. A supermassive black hole surrounded by a disk of infailing material is assumed to sit at the center of most, if not all, galaxies. Number 5. 
infrared image of NGC 1512. Located in the constellation Herogium, NGC 1512 is a barred spiral galaxy that is roughly 38 million light years from Earth. In this case, the galaxy has two concentric rings, features a nuclear ring surrounding the galactic center and an inner ring extended outward from the main disk. Within the galaxy's expansive UV disk are at least 200 clusters exhibiting active star formation within the last few million years. One of the Dorado group, NGC 1512, belongs to that group. Number 6. RCW 38 RCW 38 is a star cluster located in the direction of the constellation Vela, some 5,500 light years away, the sails. RCW 38 is an embedded cluster because it is still surrounded by a cloud of dust and gas that is still forming. There, newborn stars and planets are bombarded by powerful winds and a flood of light from young, massive stars. Huge stars with short lives aid these destructive stars by exploding as supernovae. In some cases, the matter with the potential to create new planetary systems can be cooked away by this intense bombardment. In our own solar system, as theorized by scientists, got its start in a similarly chaotic environment. Number 7. Open Cluster Hafner 18 A mature group of stars that have already dispersed into their birth nebulae represent the end result, or recent past, of a star formation process in the central region of the image, Hafner 18. In the cluster's bottom left corner, a newborn star can be seen breaking free from its nascent cocoon of gas, providing insight into the ongoing star formation process. Last but not least, the active star nurseries may be seen out to the right. There are roughly 50 stars in Hafner 18, some of them very massive and short-lived. The big star, FM3060A, is still encased in a thin, dense hydrogen shell. At its current pace of expansion, its diameter will grow to be about 2.5 light-years in the next few billion years. It was probably built around 40,000 years ago. The cluster is located at a distance of 26,000 to 35,000 light-years from Earth. Number 8. Blue Dwarf Galaxy, NGC 5253 NGC 5253, a blue compact dwarf, BCD galaxy in the constellation Centaurus is relatively nearby at a distance of about 12 million light years. In general, they are marked by regions of intense star formation activity. Despite the fact that these galaxies have a high density of dust, they are devoid of atoms heavier than hydrogen and helium, which are the essential components in the birth of stars. These galaxies harbor molecular clouds that are chemically and physically identical to those that give birth to the first stars in the early universe, before the accumulation of dust and heavy elements. The BCD galaxies have long been regarded as a prime location from which to investigate the genesis of the universe's first stars. Number 9. M51 with Progenitor Star Imaged by the James Webb Space Telescope, M51 is an interacting spiral galaxy also known as the Whirlpool Galaxy. It's roughly 25 million light years away from Earth, yet amateur astronomers can see it clearly with a modest telescope. With its continued accelerated pace of star formation, likely the result of gravitational interactions with a companion galaxy, M51 is also a favorite among professional astronomers. Supernovae were also recently seen in this galaxy, the first in 2005 and the second in 2011. Thank you for watching this episode until the end. Which photo captured your attention the most and why did you choose it? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, you can get more information about the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's latest announcements, and our newest uploads by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. In the near future, you may expect to see us upload another video.